Okay, I just, I, I'm trying to make a video because I'm not at home, so I thought maybe I have a minute, but my kids have been trying to call, and when they call, they accidentally, instead of hanging up, answered, and then it stopped the video. So here I am back, part two, because I don't know how to combine these two. I've got to figure that out. Anyways, I was just going on and on about how diet food's gross, and if you still think it tastes good, essentially the, the main message in this video is if you still think that that tastes good, you need to eat a lot more food, like a lot more food. Um, if you are still convinced that these safe foods of yours are really your preference and that you really, really like them, I'd ask you to challenge that. Could that possibly be because your anxiety is lower when you're eating those foods? And if you're eating those challenging foods and you've done it maybe once or twice and you've gotten a stomach ache from it and it's been really uncomfortable and you weren't even able to really taste it, I would also challenge you to go and revisit that and do it over and over and over again until you've had at least, I don't know, five, 10 times of eating that food where your anxieties come down enough for you to really give an accurate judgment of, do I actually like this food or not? So you can actually choose based off of preference rather than based off of your eating disorder rules and what boxes it's checking. Okay, so that's my message today and hopefully I'll be able to make another video soon, uninterrupted. All right, bye.